How did things go with Laura on Saturday? Quite well. I took her to see the Spider-Man movie, but it was already gone, so we watched a romantic comedy instead. Jason and I watched the Spider-Man movie. Trust me, you didn't miss much. So, what would you like us to do together this coming weekend? Give me a couple of days to think about it. Oh, James, want to join us? Sure, why not? Ah, uh, what happened to your voice? Ah, you noticed. I finally hit puberty and not only my voice, but other aspects of my body are changing, including new hair between my legs. Ugh, TMI, James. Mrs. Bentley, I just hired a new waiter. He should be here soon. Are you prepared for the lunch period? Yes. I have five pizza crusts ready to be filled and then baked. Michael Jefferson, reporting for duty, Mrs. Sims. Excellent. As a waiter, you will greet the customers as they enter the restaurant and ask them for their orders, then pass on those orders to the cooks and finally bring out the completed orders. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Your Honor, have you reviewed the petition submitted for the divorce of the Park couple? Yes, and in light of the fact that Mr. Park is in jail awaiting trial for a very serious crime, the divorce will be granted immediately. Mrs. Park will be awarded custody of all three of her children and will also have ownership of the family home. And so it is over. Bring in the next case. Reverend Dave Owen, you are charged with conspiracy to commit arson. How do you plead? I plead guilty. I see no point in denying something everyone knows I will be convicted of anyway. Ha. Huh. That's probably the first honest thing I've heard you say. Mrs. Smith, keep your sarcasm to yourself. Reverend Owen, since you have pled guilty, you will be given a sentence of three years in a state prison. Your Honor, are you sure that sentence is long enough? I have made my ruling. Since Reverend Owen did plead guilty, a lighter sentence is called for. And with that, this court is adjourned. Jack Watson, we meet again. And what are you in here for? Drug dealing, I assume? That doesn't matter. What's important is that you and I are in this cell together and so I can now punish you for burning down that church. And for being an asshole in general. And with that, Jack proceeds to beat Reverend Owen mercilessly until he is an unconscious heap on the jail cell's floor. Then Officer Kelly comes to see the outcome. Well, I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. Seriously, though, thanks for giving him the beat down. Thank you for inviting me back here so I could do it. It was a pleasure.